What's up everybody, Praxis Visuals here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to subtract certain objects from your scene in Blender. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so what I mean by this is I want to make sure that I can subtract a certain object from my scene but also having it still interact with other objects in it as well. So in my situation here I have a fist with a VDB simulation that I made in Embergen and let's say that I want to make these this the flames glow and I want to let's say change the color to purple right you want to make sure that you can just tweak the colors or the glow of the flames only and not the fist so you want to make sure those are two separate render layers so in order to do this, uh, people might go and just subtract it from the viewport or the render, and there you go, it's just your flames. Well, yes it is, but you're also losing the placeholder of where your fist is, so that if you were to apply these flames or any of your objects into live action footage, that placeholder is no longer there, because now you can see everything behind the flames of where the fist is supposed to be obstructing, right? So the proper way to do something is like this. And before we do it, whenever you're rendering your passes of things, you want to make sure that you have an alpha channel and just that object, or in this case, just our flames. So in order to do that, go into your render settings, film, transparent. And now you have a transparent background with an alpha channel, and you're ready to move on. So go ahead and select the object you want to subtract from your scene. Go into its object properties, visibility, holdout. So now you can see that the object is still technically there, it's still interacting with the flames, but it's diffuse and everything else about it is gone. It's just a placeholder, right? It's no longer in your scene, but it's in your scene. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain that. But yeah, this is very, very useful for, you know, anything, anything you make. Yeah, if, you, if a person gets hit by a car, but you want to render those two things out you could subtract the person and just have the car layer and you can tweak the cars colors uh, you can add any type of effect after that I don't know why I'm just thinking about colors but now you have just the car layer with a person that would be obstructing the view in the camera so there you go I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial I hope you guys like comment subscribe and I hope you guys use this technique to its fullest advantage and I will see you guys in the next video See you later.